I'm William Whitman. I'm a longtime engineer, producer, and sometimes musician. I've made such records as Cyndi Lauper's She's So Unusual, Joan Osborne's Relish record, uh, first two Outfield records, first two Hooters records. I tend to love the instant flanger because it sounds like the instant flanger. It's a sound unto itself. It isn't necessarily exactly like tape phasing, but that's a good thing. It's in some ways clearly more flexible, but but has its own sort of musical quality that I choose because I want that quality, not because it sounds like tape. One thing I really like about it, uh, about the instant flanger is, again, when I first got a demo of it, the first thing I noticed after wiring it up in stereo was that even just playing with that big sort of manual knob in the middle, that it does this great thing where um, as one side of the stereo comes into phase, the other side goes out and it goes back and forth. And you get this great sort of stereo spread positioning that even in a static mode, you could get a kind of pseudo stereo that was really nice. But especially in the oscillator controlled sweep, you would get this lovely little wave motion of something back and forth that you didn't necessarily, depending on what the music was, didn't necessarily even identify as phasing or flanging but rather just a stereo sort of floaty, nice, airy effect. And that is how it came to be on Time After Time, that I was looking for a way to take... Um, there's a real drummer on that, it's Anton Fig, but the um, shaker element is a Lindrum kabasa. And I wanted to do something to that to A, make it sound a little less machine-like, but B, smear it around the stereo image a little. And the instant flanger came to mind as the perfect thing. So there is just a nice slow sweep that's about two bars long, and it's moving back and forth in time around the back of the stereo picture in a way that I don't think you could have done really any other way, and certainly could not have done with tape phasing. It's a completely different use of the box. I've been playing with the new iteration of the plugin and realizing to, to my joy that it does this same effect. Eventide has done an incredible job of porting this stuff over that especially this new generation of plugins really does do what your hardware memory or muscle memory tells you this box is supposed to do. That whether it's the 910 harmonizer or it's the flanger that when I bring it up it does what the sound in my head told me it was going to do, which is very satisfying.